Ready to go. Ready to go? Okay, let's go. Who are you? Hi, I'm Ben. I'm from Avoche Madison Restaurant. I'm the executive chef. It is Kristen Menton. She's our pastry chef at Avoche Madison. Hey, where are we going? Where are we? Uh, we are at Union Square Market, and it is Wednesday in the morning, and we're going to go pick up some uh, ingredients and any produce that's uh, going to spark our interest for the menu. Awesome. Okay. Where are we going first? I think I saw Franca at Berry Treasure. She has some sugar snap peas. Okay. And I would like to get a, a small handful just to play around with. Okay, so you don't know exactly what you're going to do with them yet? Uh, not yet. Um, I believe I'll blanch them real quick and I'd like to do a, uh, a hard saute and perhaps even a char. It could be, I'd like to put it on the menu for the summer. Do you change the menu often? We try to change it seasonally and based really on based available? on what's available, exactly. Yeah, nice. Thanks, Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, now where? Now we're going to stop by Rick. Um, see if he has any spring onions available. Sorry. Okay. We do have that on the menu. Sometimes he has these beautiful, really small red spring onions um, that go with our lamb dish. Um, what do you do with them specifically? We blanch them real quick, um, just until they're about 50% of the way done, and then we'll put them on the, on the grill on this on a cooler part and just finish it on the grill to get a, a little char smokiness. Oh, that sounds yummy. There he is. So he doesn't have them, but these are always just nice as, as it is. Good substitute? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just a green, onion, yeah. green spring onions. So we just get a couple of these as well. So we're just getting a little, uh, like these baby pea leaves, really tiny. We'll use for okay. garnish or something else? This will be for garnish. We'll use it uh, for a burrata, burratina. Oh, so yum. Burrata uh, that we put with uh, spring peas. Yeah. And, uh, and these garnish on top. And we'll also put it in our seasonal salad. Okay. Uh, which I could just put whatever I find out here. Um, throw it in. Yeah, throw it in there. Oh, it's it really is. good. Hey, what's going on? How are you right. doing? Good. Got the uh, garlic. Yep. Nine, and then. And three and 18. Sure. You're getting petite basil? Yeah. Do you want some more? Can I just have a little bit of yours? Yeah, or you need it's all? A bit in the, no, no. Yeah, yeah. There's I more. Need I need a little more. bit. No, 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 I just need a little bit. Oh, well, we use the that for in pastry. I'll probably garnish wow. some of our plates with it. It's really nice that. with yeah, the yeah. lavender panna cotta. Okay. Oh, um, yum. With the peaches. I'm going to take a uh, Cigarello. What do you do with Cigarello? Okay. Have a great day. Hmm? Thank you so much. Cigarello. Oh, I'm oh, great. Cigarello is here. When did they? Oh, that's right. They came last week, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get a bunch. Is it like a kale? It's like Italian it's broccoli. Kale. It's like oh. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's an Italian cutting broccoli. So instead of just taking the, the leaves off of a regular broccoli plant and making you know garlic and oil and pasta, this is a strain that came out of Italy that's the best tasting leaves. It makes a little ahead of broccoli like that, which is yeah. we cut that off. We want the leaves. Yeah. Is it bitter like kale or no? No, it's not, it's not no. bitter. It's more really? nutty and, and uh, yeah, it's just delicious. I think I might get some of that. We'll have some of this. I just need a little bit. I just need a little bit. I'm just gonna test it out. <laughs> okay, thank you. Good seeing you, man. Hey, have fun. We will. Uh, Rick's famous for so many of his produce, but definitely Spigarello. Everyone knows. Really that. knows yeah. he has it. So what will you? How will you prepare it? Um, this one. Depending on what I want to do, normally we could either quickly blanch it and uh, heavily seasoned uh, salt, salted water. Okay. And then dry it off, and then we could uh, saute it with a little um, toasted garlic and some chili flake. If you want, you could add a little anchovy too and melt it down. Very much like broccoli rabe. Okay. Um, it's a great substitute for it. Um, but it's there not other... bitter like broccoli rabe. No, not at all. It's not bitter at all. It's, uh, as Rick said, it's, uh, it has a nutty characteristic to it. And if we don't do that, then we could actually even just um, really, really fine mince it and then um, and just cook it in a hard saute pan, like a really hot saute pan. Okay, you don't have to just really quickly. Yeah. And Chris is going to get some lavender for, for a delicious panna cotta. So this goes into the panna cotta? Yes, it's a honey and lavender panna cotta, and it has peach sorbet and fresh peaches in it. Oh, wow. Ah. <laughs> um, there's also, there's the big bunches of lavender, which are to the right. Great, we'll do that. And it's about, this, it's like a little bit bigger, and it's less expensive. <laughs> Great. I'm going to put this all together. Yeah. These are your spring onions? Yeah. These guys are carrying them too. They're awesome. I love the color. They're great. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll just. So, Chris is going to come here so we oh, okay. can get all the berries. So what we'll use the strawberries for? So the strawberries go with our ricotta cristata right now. It's kind of like a ricotta cheesecake. It has rhubarb compote and rhubarb sorbet, and oh, then awesome. the strawberries are all over the side. And we poach some and we leave some fresh. Oh, that sounds delicious. Nice. Will you get the rhubarb from the market as well? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What dessert does the do the blueberries go in? Yeah. They don't. Oh, <laughs> so, um, for you? It's just something to test, so I. Okay. Maybe we can put something blueberry on the menu. Yeah. What do you do? You have an idea of what you'll do to test with it? I'm not sure yet. I was thinking maybe we can make another like a blueberry crostato or something like that. Would be yeah. really nice with mascarpone or something just fresh and light. For yeah. Summer. Anything else? Okay. I think that's it, guys. That's it. Not much. <laughs> I had fun at the market. I got a lot of strawberries. I'm excited. <laughs> That's it. You ready? Support the local market. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone talks shit on Jersey. They, it's a garden state for a reason. Uh, they got some of the best produce, best soil. Upstate New York, too. The Catskills. Just amazing. So. Great commercial. All right. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool.